everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all keeping it safe and well and if you're new to my channel then welcome i'm stacy i'm a mum to three girls i have two teenagers and a toddler um elsie who is two and a half and today i'm going to be showing you what i'm putting in her easter basket now an easter basket is something quite new to us um it's quite an american thing to do but i've decided this year to make one up for elsie after the rubbish year we've had i thought it'd be something nice for her to have so usually she would get a little bit of chocolate and a little gift but i thought i'd do her something a little bit different so this is her easter basket and i'm going to be showing you what i've put inside and i'll let you know where i got it all from so for her easter basket i am using this little wicker basket now this is from asda and it was only two pound it's a really big size and it's an absolute bargain i would usually go to a charity shop and get something so i was pleased to find this for two pounds it's got loads of room to put all her little goodies in and then we can use this again after for storage which is um i love so yeah i've got that so i didn't want to go mad on chocolate there is some chocolate included which i'll show you first so the first thing i've got her is this little easter egg but it's mainly the peppa pig ham puppet with a tiny little egg in the bottom she saw this in asda and fell in love with it so i thought i'd get this this was i'm not sure on the price individually but it was on the four for ten pound so i picked her up that and i know she's gonna love it she's like a typical toddler absolutely obsessed with peppa pig so that's the first thing i'm putting in there and then another piece of chocolate i got her was just this little paw patrol egg she is obsessed with paw patrol as well it was only a pound in tesco so I picked her up that and that's pretty much all the chocolate she's getting inside her basket. I am also going to do her a Easter egg hunt. So she will get extra chocolate, but that will be for all the girls spread out. So I picked up this little basket, which was also from Asda. This one was only a pound. And then I picked up these refillable eggs from Home Bargains. I think they're about 99p. So picked up those. And then I've just been picking up little packs of chocolates over the last few weeks so i picked her up a couple from um where are these from aldi so we've got the little pastel colored eggs which are really cute i'm a sucker for a pastel color anything and then these little figures and these are only 59p a packet and then i picked up these little ones i think these ones were from lidl yeah they were and they're little bunny eggs so they're just to be spread out in these refillable eggs and around the garden and the house depending on the weather so yeah i've got those and then i also picked up these i think these are for aldi too and they're just some little chocolate chicks and i think they're about 99p and like i said she'll be using this little basket to collect the chocolate so that's every bit of chocolate she's getting i did pick up this which is a little biscuit lolly this was from home bargains and i think it was around 99p but it's a really good size they also did it in an easter bunny but i preferred the chick so yeah i picked her up that to pop in the basket also from home bargains i picked her up this easter themed bath bomb she absolutely loves a bath bomb and the ones from home bargains we always get because you get a little surprise toy in there it's just a little squishy so um when i saw this i had to get it so it's just a pastel pink little egg and you can get either a chick a bunny or a little sheep squishy um they also have this in yellow but i just picked up the pink and this one was 149 another thing from home bargains that i picked up was a coloring in book like i said i'm a sucker for pastel colors and this is really really pretty so it's just got stickers and coloring pages for her to do and little activities and this was only 79p this will last her way after easter um, so yeah that one is the next thing that I'm putting in there I then picked her up this book from Asda this um, we have in the Christmas version um, it's like we're going on an elf hunt this is called five little Easter bunnies it's such a beautiful book Elsie absolutely loved the one she got for Christmas it's got beautiful illustrations and it's got all little lift the flaps which she absolutely loves this one was part of their two for seven pound range so picked her up that and i know she's gonna love that also from asda i picked her up this little cup they also had this in a blue design with a different pattern 
but I really like the look of this just with a little bunny and it just says hello Easter and it's got the little um, curly straw in and this is something that we can keep and put in the loft for next Easter and Easter's to come and it was only a pound and um, I just love it I'm really like drawn into all the novelty things so I think that's why I enjoy making this little Easter basket pair so yeah picked her up that little one so I'm also popping in these little bunny ears these are actually from last year but you can get them this year absolutely everywhere I've seen them in home bargains they're about a pound and they also do them with blue in the middle instead of pink so I'm just popping those in so she can wear them when doing her bunny um egg hunt and I think she'll look super super cute and then I picked her up some bubbles these are from pound stretcher they were 99p it's just got the little bunny on the top and then the tube of bubbles she loves bubbles half this will probably be spilt everywhere but for a pound i thought i'd just pop one of those in from poundland i picked her up this little inflatable ring toss bunny game i thought this was really good quality for a pound so you just inflate the bunny and then you've got inflatable rings to try and get on the ears she will absolutely love this um, I thought it was really cute and like I said really good quality for a pound so I'm gonna put that inside her basket and then the last thing I picked her up was some little Easter pajamas I wasn't planning on getting any clothing or pajamas but I saw these in Morrison's the other day and I think they're only like seven pounds so I decided to get them they're the little pastel pink color button down pajamas I'll show you like this so that's the little top and then it just comes with the long bottoms and they have the beautiful little flowers and watering cans and little bunnies on them i just thought they were super cute and like i said really cheap only seven pound so she can wear these easter night and she will wear them after they're not it's only easter they're quite like spring ones so yeah i picked her up those and that's everything that I've put in her basket. I'm, it was really hard not to go overboard. There is so many pretty spring and Easter things in the shops at the minute. Um, it might be a bit much for some people. Like I said, we never used to do these. You don't have to do them. It's just something a little bit different. And she's still quite young, so she doesn't eat a lot of sweets and chocolate, even though I have got quite a bit of chocolate. But um, I thought it's something nice to keep her entertained over Christmas not Christmas, over Easter. Um, I might give it to her on Good Friday so then it lasts the whole Easter weekend. And like I said, she'll use most of this stuff after Easter anyway. Let me know down below if you're making an Easter basket, what sort of things you're including. I'd love to hear. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not already because I'd love to have you here and I'll see you all in my next one.